It's a new look at a bizarre moment in Colorado history. A man with grievances against his city government armored a bulldozer and started plowing through town, smashing building after building until he took his own life. What happened in Granby nearly 16 years ago is now the story in a documentary released in theaters today. The movie about Martin Heemeyer's 2004 rampage is called Tread. The filmmaker told 9 News reporter Jennifer Meckles he wanted to tell this story from the perspective of the Coloradans who experienced it firsthand. Got a one runaway cat here. He's got armor. Home video shot by stunned bystanders captured the destruction in Granby on June 4th, 2004. Marvin Hemeyer was reportedly upset about a years long zoning dispute with the town council. He plowed into city buildings, businesses, even a home. Using a bulletproof bulldozer, he spent a year and a half outfitting for his revenge mission. Well, poor guy, he's going to be in trouble now. What kind of person would both be angry enough uh, and have the skill enough uh, to create that machine and to sustain that resentment as long as he did? Um, to both build it and then to carry it out. Paul so. Sollett explores that question with his new documentary film, Tread, a look at the conflicts between Hemeyer and his targets that escalated into this. It really deserved to be told. It had to be told by the people of Granby. The filmmaker uses old footage, Hemeyer's own recordings, and stories from the people involved. It was just absolutely unbelievable, and uh, it was scary. People like Patrick Brower, the former editor of Sky High News in Granby. That day, he was a journalist and a victim. I went out, took some photos, and went back in, thinking he would just drive by right on Highway 40, but he didn't. Uh, he took a sharp right turn and smashed right into our building. Brower disagrees with those who have since called Hemeyer a hero for attacking the people he felt wronged him. Brower even wrote a book about this and helped with the movie. Oh, look at that. The filmmaker hopes viewers consider their own experience with anger and revenge and how we all communicate with each other. My hope is, you know, that anyone who watches this movie, whatever their perspective is bringing to this movie, that it is uh, that it, it, it is opened. So Tread opened in some theaters starting today, including a few right here in Colorado, and it will expand to more theaters and on demand in the next couple of days. Patrick Brower, the Granby journalist we spoke to, he'll be attending a couple of these Colorado showings for both a question and answer session and for signings for his book. Kyle. And Jennifer, I feel like this is kind of such a, a seminal moment in Colorado history. People who were here that year remember it distinctly. And for folks who might have come here in the last, you know, 10, 15 years or so, they're like, what happened? Where? To the filmmaker today about how for a lot of people this is a new story just a wild story but for those of people who were living in Colorado who knew about this they're familiar with what happened but this is more of a deeper character dive hearing from people in Granby and hearing some of these tapes from the person himself just, just a fascinating look at the characters here there will be a lot of interest all right thank you Jennifer yep